Hi, I'm Sambo Patrick and today I wanted to talk about grazes and bruises on little ones and how to help them just with a speedy recovery. I think it's important to not try and um, eliminate all bruises and cuts and falls and things because it's a part of growing up and part of becoming ambidextrous not just physically but also mentally is learning how to negotiate your way through life um, through cuts and falls and learning lessons and we know as parents that um, sometimes going through the motions and the experience is far more valuable than us just telling them. So I think a few cuts and bruises and grazes are part of the journey of growing up but how can we help our little ones so it's not a painful journey along the way. Now any sort of cut um, will respond quite nicely just to a bit of gentle bathing. You don't have to use salty water or Dettol or any of those really stringent things. Just run it under um, cold water. Um, firstly, if it's gushing with blood, then you want to stop that. And the best way to stop that is um, to compress the area, so squeeze it, um, use a dressing if you've got dressing or gauze, but just elevate it as well. And that'll decrease the blood flow to the area while the bleeding stops. Bleeding should stop within a minute or two. Um, and then you can apply, just give it a little wash if it's got dirt on it. Um, you can put natural cleansing agents on it, but probably water is just as you know, fantastic as everything else. Um, in your garden, you might want to grow some comfrey. Now comfrey, spelled C-O-M-F-R-E-Y, um, is brilliant for healing wounds and blisters. It's one of those um, U-Butte herbs that were available all through the 70s, 80s and 90s in Australia and then for some reason it was withdrawn off the market. But it still is one of those things that heals and cracks and cuts very nicely. Um, I love this stuff. Um, aloe vera is another one which is also um, easy to grow in your yard and easy just to snap a little bit off and just rub it onto a cut or a, um, a graze and it will just help um, relieve the pain and will help it heal probably twice as quick as then if you're left to your own devices. Now if there's a bit of bruising or if there's a strain or a sprain, the, prob the best thing I know of is something called Arnica. Now Arnica, A-R-N-I-C-A, can be bought as a topical cream, so you can rub it onto the bruised area, or you can have it as little um, drops or a spray under your tongue. It's brilliant for children, um, it's brilliant for adults as well. So it's um, been recognised by a lot of surgeons as decreasing bleeding, and you can use it up, for three up to three weeks after a bruise or an incident, and it will help quite dramatically. So so there's just a couple of little home remedies to help. Um, if you're going to use ice um, after an injury, fantastic, usually effective for the first 24 hours. So ice, you know, just get a bag of frozen peas is the classic or an ice pack, put it on, take it off, do that um, so the child doesn't burn because you don't want their skin to burn. Um, but after 24 hours you'll find that the ice isn't that beneficial and you can start to use even heat at that point in time. Anyway, just a couple of hot tips. Um, and I hope your kids don't experience lots of cuts and bruises and strains and sprains, but it is part of growing up. And um, take care of yourselves too. Bye.